was the night before Lutmus, when all through the dungeon not a creature was stirring, not even a magman. Bags of holding were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Solar soon would be there. The Kenku were nestled all snug in their nests, while hopes of high flights soared in their breasts. The hag in her kerchief, and I my wizard cap, had just settled our minds for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bedroll to see what was the matter. Away to the parapet I flew like a flash, tore open the trap door as my lantern went smash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave an undead pallor to beings below. When what to my bespectacled eyes did appear but a magical sleigh and eight celestial reindeer. With a driver whose eyes glowed bright like some coal, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Soul. More rapid than rock his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Smasher, now Lancer, now Fencer and Brawler, on Magus, on Scald, on Healer and Caller, to the top of the battlement, to the top of the wall, now disengage, disengage, disengage all. As leaves that were caught in a gust of wind cast, when they came upon barricades, took to the air fast. So up to our castle the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of loot, and Saint Solar too. And then, in a twinkling, I saw on the roof the prancing and pawing of each holy hoof. And as I dove down the tower and was turning around, down the chimney Saint Solar came with a bound. He was dressed all in light, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were untarnished by the ashes and soot. A great pair of wings spread from his back, and he looked much like an angel now opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his smile, how it shined, his muscles corded tightly under his cloak, fur lined. From his pack, he withdrew a magical bow, a spell tome, a wand, and potions to grow. Scrolls of magic spells, both great and both small, and gold rations that would help to sustain us all. He took out a pseudo-dragon with a plump belly, broadswords and steel shields, and a tiny cubed jelly. He was glowing and warm, a right holy old thing, and I shook when I saw him as his light had a sting. A wink of his high and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the bags, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere they flew out of sight, Happy Lutmus to all, and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho.